Chelsea. Well, no. um, I'm going to say a few words and hand over to, to Dicky with MBE who's going to say a few words about Tommy, how he knew him and where we went from there. So Tommy Taylor, um, born 29th of January 1932, died 6th of February 1958. Tommy Taylor was the Manchester United and England centre forward at the time of his death in the Munich air disaster on February, in February 1958. Tommy Taylor arrived in the local community of Stretford after signing for Manchester United from Barnsley Football Club in March 1953. He lived at number 22 Great Stone Road and from that date until this time of his passing he became a sporting icon and is remembered not only for his outstanding play but also for his great sportsmanship, his modest personality and he was a shining example to local youth despite his fame. He could regularly be seen around the playing fields of Old Trafford and Stretford offering encouragement and advice to local uh, school children in use, particularly on long flight playing football on a Sunday morning, so what we tell them today. Tommy Taylor was not only an outstanding football player, but also a great role model and a shining example for local people to follow. He brought great credit not only to himself, but also to his club Manchester United and his country England, for whom he played 19 times. His life and contribution to the game of football needs to be remembered, not only by the residents of Old Trafford and Stretford and the borough, but by the rest of the football world. This application is part of a Stretford High School project led by our students, and I'd like now to introduce Dickie Bird MBE to say a few words about Tommy Taylor before unveiling our blue pack. Well, I know Tommy uh, goes back to my school days. Uh, I played with Tommy, I played inside forward to him for every secondary modern school. He played centre forward, we played for Barnsley boys together. So I've known him, I knew him a long, long time. And uh, we used to practice for hours as kids on broken glass. When, in those days we had uh, uh, no grass on the football grounds. <laughs> But we used to, I used to cross the ball for him, even the school kids, and he used to rise and hang in the air to head the ball. He was one of the finest headers of a football that I've ever seen. He, he, uh, I saw Tommy Lawton, and I reckon he was better than Tommy Lawton. So he was a, he had pace as a schoolboy. He had pace, as I say, he was a brilliant header of the ball. He was two-footed. He could kick with his left foot. He could kick with his right foot. And I. When you think that the lad did not, he wasn't at the height of his career when this terrible accident happened, what would he have been like? What would he have done? You, you've just said there he played 19 times for his country, and I think he scored 18 goals, I'm not sure. You better look that up. And, uh, but he would have been uh, certainly one of the greatest centre forwards, as uh, I, I think, in the history of the game. Tremendous, and I shall always remember him. He was a nice lad. I, I, I was, we were brought up together, as, as you said, in Smithies. His father and my father worked at the same coal face, Port Breton Colliery, and they used to drink. They called his father Charlie, and his, Charlie used to drink with my father. And he used to have a beer after doing a shift down the mine. And that's what I'd like to say, and that's what I'd like to remember him by. He was a grand. Step back, please. So, can we have the front so we can see? Nice. We have a little one to come forward. 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 Come Thank you.